This particular video is on up hair. So let's begin with the sectioning and we're going to keep it real simple, separating the back from the front and the top from the sides. The sections are not terribly clean, you get the idea, it's pretty simple really. But let's go back to the back section and right about the occipital bone, about midway through the head, let's split that in half and take the top half area, clip it up to get it out of the way so we can curl the bottom half area without any kind of interference. Now as I grab each section to curl it for this particular look, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the base, at the closer to the scalp, and then work my way out. I then turn the iron upside down, drop the whole curled section into my hand. It's going to be hot now, so you've got to be careful about that. But then I'm going to clip it with a duckbill to the hair, to the head or the hair, and then I'm going to allow that to cool. Now these sections are going to be rather large, so we'll start going faster now. Uh, they're going to be large and they're going to be a soft, wavy curl. Now in this instance, I have no product in the hair. If you want it firmer, you could use a firm mousse uh, or you could use hot rollers. That would make it tighter too, or do both. Now as I get to the side front sections, I'm directing them back away from the face a bit because I want it softer around the face. And I'm just curling it in the same pattern you saw before. I will link alternative techniques at the end of this video so that you can see different ways in which to achieve different results with the same basic style. I'm working with Infinium Hairspray. I've got a video on that uh, in, my, in my library if you want to check it out. But basically it gives the hair memory. If as you're curling it, you can touch the outer structure where the hair is and until you feel the heat coming through, that's going to tell you when it's ready. When you can feel the heat coming through, that's enough. You don't need to hold it there until it's unbearably hot. You're just going to damage the hair. So just wait for the heat to come through, then go ahead and release it and let it cool. It's as important to let it cool as anything else, so be sure and do that. Clipping it up is going to encourage curl and body. Letting it drag is going to encourage wave and softness. Okay, now we're ready to start working with the top section. So what we're going to do is direct it forward and then put a little Infinium spray in there. The cans are different colors, that's just because they're different strengths. Now I'm going to use a wig brush. You can use a paddle brush to work it through. Take the curling iron, don't open it. Wrap the hair around the iron. We're going to create a little bit of lift this way. Let it sit for a moment or so. When you can feel the heat coming through the hair, you've got enough. Now I'm going to grab this section, same section, at the base a bit. I'm going to wrap it around and now I'm going to go ahead and give it some curl. Same as before. And clip it in, let it cool down. Shorter bang section is going to get a different angle, softer angle, going to the side. It can go any direction you want to. We're going left to right. And now we're ready to start dropping the, the curls. Now when doing this, if you use your fingers and comb through it, you're going to have more of a curl texture. Use a brush, you're going to have more of a wave texture. You can use a handle pick to get something in between. Notice that I'm sectioning the front portion of the design and letting it be to the side. I'm going to come back to it later. I'm working more on the sides at this point and the uh, area that reaches into the crown, but not the front section, as you can see here. Taking the section I've cleaned out and pulling it a little bit high in the crown area, a high ponytail if you will, I now take my coated band and I put it at the base of that to give my style support and height. I'm going to start working with that top section, tying it back to the ponytail area. If you want to pull some pieces out and let them fall to give it a softer effect, this is a good opportunity to do that. I 
additionally, you could take this section and do a little back combing with a handle pick or with a comb to create extra height as you're covering over into the ponytail section. You can see that this is not what I did. I did doing a more subtle, understated effect. I also didn't smooth it out a lot as I'm playing a lot with the texture. You can customize it several different ways, so do play with it. Now I'm going to soften the curl in the back and create more volume out of it. I'm switching the Kenra Volume Spray. I use a little bit of that, then I back comb with a handle pick. This way I'm getting a very large wave, a little bit of curl, not too much. My product of choice for this is Kenra Volume Spray. I'm now going to start dropping the top section, use a little bit of soft back combing with the handle pick, and refining my design. Now I'm going to start working with, with my bang section. I want to create a very soft, understated look, so I brush it back, spray it with Kenra Volume Spray because it does have hold, then I just blend it into the design. Here's a good hack or tip for you. If you have a metal comb and you preheat it when working with curly hair, it will help you to soften the texture of the hair. Be careful, you don't want to overdo this, but it's a great way to get close to the scalp. After which, I'm taking my flat iron and just smoothing the ends out. Now, the stronger you curl the ends here, the easier it's going to be for you, so you might do them stronger than I have. I'm now going to wrap the hair around my fingers with my fingers slightly open to create a pin curl. Taking my flat iron and squeezing the pin curl giving it heat. Heat protecting gloves are helpful at this point, or just be very careful about how close you get to your fingers. Divide my sections through the entire style based on thickness so that they're pretty consistent. Sectioning is the same as the previous design, and the importance of letting it cool at this point is the same thing. Let it completely cool. Don't touch it, let it stay. For a variety of effects, use a variety of pre-products, products to put on hair when wet. My favorite version of this is to do actual pin curls, but it takes a long time to dry, either under a dryer or left alone. Hours to dry, but it is worth it. To accommodate a working base at the crown, I'm going to separate the top section from the sides, work with the sides first, and then incorporate the top. To produce a soft bit of volume, I'm going to use a handle pick to back comb just gently.
Here's where I take both sides, work them up a little bit high to the crown, and then tie them into a singular knot, which I'm going to pin to the scalp. But before I do, I want to use a bit of hairspray to help make sure that the knot doesn't slip. A very effective way to create a base that other things can be pinned to. Now I'm going to take small sections from the uh, sides and other portions of the design and I'm going to direct them up to where the previous knot, the original knot is. I'm going to tie in them a small knot in which to have something to pin with. And I'm even going to spray that with a little bit of hairspray. Here you will spray and lift with your hands, your fingers, so as to create more volume. Now let's work into the top section, including the bangs. Gripping hair all together, I'm going to ultimately uh, tie it and pin it to the, uh, to the section in the back top of the crown. So at this point I'm using a paddle brush because I want to get all the hair smoothed in to create a more refined effect, particularly highlighting the eyes. Brushing back, I then will apply a little bit of hairspray to tie the little flyaways into the body hair. Just brush them in gently. You could use your hand if you wanted to. I like to use a paddle brush. You're changing the texture. You're not trying to create hold. You're just changing the texture. I'm twisting it and I'm going to tie it. Let's say you're looking to add some soft tendrils or loose pieces around the front and even the bang. Here's an opportunity for you to take a rat tail comb and just pull some pieces out, not including them or smoothing them back in with the, uh, with the rest of the design. <laughs> 